What's up, guys? Today I will be playing this Pyro deck. Let's go. I got this deck from Kevin from Headhunters, my clan. So, I'm gonna play the Crystal. And basically, you just play Pirates. And then you play the Boneyard to cover the Pirates. And that should be basically enough. The Bomb is for area damage cards, like... Uh, not area, like... Air Financer, Phoenix Egg, Skeletons, even those, yeah, so Black Witch. These guys just play random decks, so I can't even expect, like, what are they gonna have. By the way, I dropped my trophies because, like, I couldn't find any opponents and I really wanted to play. So I dropped my trophies, so yeah. So I was like, why not just record the trophy push? So now we have like all three lanes. Okay. So now he's trying to go in the bottom lane. But we're gonna play the fire elemental and that should be probably enough. Too much pressure. This deck has like so many cards that can cover all three lanes. Like Boneyard, Shaman, Triplets. And Fire Mental is very annoying. Okay, we got a good draw. This deck is fun as long as you like have high levels or like decent and if you don't get crystals or a mana ritual, it's pretty frustrating. So I got the crystal and the mana ritual. Now I'm just going to play the Boneyard. Okay, I'll play the mana ritual. And... Is he going to play a fan? Oh, I was going to say, is he going to play a fan answer? I guess not. So I'm going to go behind his golem. He doesn't know where my shaman is. Okay, he waste. I mean, he didn't really waste it, but okay. So we covered the shaman too. And now we like if he literally kills everything, we can probably just win by like two or three fire mentals. Why not just bomb it? We're gonna win this. We're gonna fire elemental in the top lane. It's over now. Okay, next game. So you guys should try this deck and like let me know what do you guys think of it. Okay, if I don't get a crystal I'm gonna burn the triplets got the crystal now I'm just gonna play the pirate because I have two boneyards in the deck so I should get one soon but if I don't then too bad I thought the shaman would be there. So it's in the top lane. Okay, I'll play the boneyard just to cover the pirate. Now I'm gonna play the shaman in the bottom lane. Okay, I'm gonna black witch the top lane. I'm gonna bomb the Valkyrie because that's more important to kill. And now, then again, we can just win by Fire Elementals. Look at his castle health. Gonna Fire Elemental behind the Mud Elemental. Now, he needs to choose a lane. Okay, he went the top. I'll go in the bottom too. 
I'm gonna wind it. Now I'll fire elemental behind the mud elemental. And I'll play the fire elemental again and we won. This deck is pretty fast as well, but it could be weak against Spectre decks and Rush decks. Especially if you don't get, like, Man Ritual or Crystals. And I'm gonna play the Boneyard, because it doesn't make sense to play Man Ritual, and then a Pirate. Now we're just gonna play the Pirate. In the bottom lane, bottom lane, because that's the weakest, but now it's the strongest. I'm going to play the Boneyard again. Actually, no, no, no. I'm going to play the Triplets, because I got the Triplets. Now it's going to be Boneyard. Just, just spam your opponents with cards. Okay, now, then again, fire elementals, it's over. He can resurrect, but like, he's resurrecting the middle lane, which doesn't really matter, because my troops were on the other lane. So, next game. Bomb. Let's see if he plays a storm. Oh, never mind, it's archers, so let's play... Bomb there. Pirate. Yeah, in the against the warrior. What is he gonna play? Okay, vampire. He used one standard bear. Okay, but like I can just play the boneyard. Covered the pirate. Should be enough. Gonna play the triplets. Pirate in the middle. To kill the genie. Okay, got all three lanes. Yeah, so, I don't know, it's just, like, pretty simple. Just, just play the cards. It's a spam deck, basically. But it's a newer version of it. I'm gonna play the pirate to kill his warrior. This could be annoying, because he has a higher level rush deck. But let's see. Okay, let's just finish that lane. He might have a catapult, but like we have the fire elemental for the catapult. Two of them, actually. Okay, we need to take out the genies. Now he'll probably go in the middle lane, because he wants, yeah. So, that one little skeleton in the middle helped us, otherwise he would have covered his cards. But we had the wind anyway, so. I'm going to play the vampire in the top lane. Now it's over again, because he doesn't have cannons, so. Next game. Sir Hubba. Hubba. I don't know. Oh, 
overtime deck. So Fire Elemental is gonna do good against him. The triplets. Now I'm gonna play the pirate. He will probably play the arrows. I guess not actually. Gonna kill the demon. Okay, all vampire. We can now Fire Elemental again, and after this, I'm going to play another Boneyard. After this, it's going to be the Fire Elemental, and it's over. Let's play another game. We're lucky that we're getting crystals and mana rituals. This guy's a level 13. Okay. I'm just wondering what he's playing. But I, th I don't know. I think he sometimes plays SB, but now he's playing skeletons. Okay, so gonna cover the pirate with the boneyard. Now I'll just... And ritual, because he might play in more skeletons. So, but I need to clear his skeletons too, because otherwise he's going to get a huge specter. Okay, yeah, there we go. There's those more skeletons. Maybe specter. I want to kill the skeletons. My fire elemental can just kill his necromancer, but he, I think he has a resurrection, so. We're gonna play probably the fire elemental again in the top lane. Yeah, let's do it. Man ritual, we need to attack now. We really need to attack. We basically lost the bottom lane. So just attack. Okay, good. So. 5.8k. So, guys, this is the deck once again. Try it. And let me know if you guys like it or not. That's it for this video. Bye.